this story should come as a surprise to absolutely no one. You know how California is battling all these wildfires and people's houses are burning down? Well, turns out if you're poor, you might have a better chance of losing everything. Because rich people are now hiring their own private firefighters. Because of course they are! According to the New York Times, rich Californians are hiring private firms to supplement the firefighters that state and local governments provide. It's not something these private firms are advertising necessarily. It's not like they're putting out ads saying we work for government agencies, but if you're rich enough, we'll work for you too, because that might look bad. Instead, they're relying on word of mouth. As one of the owners of these private firms told the Times, it's not who you are, it's who you know. And if you know the right people right now and you have enough money, you can pay these firms to come and battle fires around your home. Now, private firefighting firms aren't a new thing. They've been around for decades. What is new is that they used to just contract with government agencies, not rich homeowners. That's the new part. Some are even cross-training security guards to fight fires so that rich people can have a combo private security firefighter guarding their mansions on a subscription basis. And with more fires expected to burn every year thanks to our changing climate, these firms expect to be doing a lot more business with private homeowners in the future. Which makes sense! I mean, really, if you were rich and a fire was threatening your house and you could afford to have firefighters on guard for you, wouldn't you do it? It makes sense! I'd do it if I were a rich person in the same circumstances. But I like to think I'd be such a nice rich person that if my neighbor's mansion were about to burn down, I'd let them use my private firefighter too. Of course, many people are outraged, saying this is just one more step toward the dystopian future where the rich and the poor are even more divided. To which I say, yep, that makes sense too. It's just another step along the way to where eventually the rich people live in beautiful, temperature-controlled ships in the sky with plenty of fresh oxygen and beautiful flower gardens and lap pools and whatnot, while the poor fight over the scraps of tarp and rotten vegetables that they scrounge for down below here on what's left of our scorched earth. Yep, rich people having their own firefighters in the time of climate change should come as no surprise at all.